Wayne Rooney, the man in charge there, the interim boss after uh, Philip Koku left the club. How's he doing? Has, has he adapted well to life in management? Because he has seemed to turn results around. Yeah, he's, he's been brilliant. I think with Philip Koku, obviously, with the Dutch style, we used to keep the ball a lot and, and you know, have a lot of possession without actually hurting teams. I think since Wayne's come in, we've put a bit more attacking impetus, you know, sometimes don't turn down the ball over the top, sometimes, you know, get across in when 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 it's there to cross. And we found ourselves scoring a few more goals and, and creating a few more chances. So that's the pleasing thing, because as a centre half, when you're in the team and, and you know, you know when you have to keep a clean sheet to get anything out of the game, it's very frustrating. But now we can go places, we create chances, score goals. And hopefully now on we'll, we'll start climbing the table because uh, Wayne's had a really good run at it. When it comes to Wayne Rooney, you would have a lot of history with him, Emil, for, for England duty and the great partnership that you two have. Would you ever envision that he would be a manager at the age of 35, turning 36 this year? Probably not at the age of 35. Um, but yeah, definitely a manager. Um, he's, got so, he's got so much to give back to young lads, to, to, to forwards, to, to teams, really. Um, in what he's experienced, what he's achieved and where he's been. So, um, yeah, I could see him doing it. Um, I thought he'd be more hands-on on the pitch, but I don't think he has been. Um, I think he's more of a, uh, being more of a mentor, being someone who can, who who is more of talking more than actually doing on the, actually doing physically on the pitch and getting people going. Uh, a man manager, man manager more than a hands-on manager. Was that a fair assessment? Curtis? Yeah, definitely. He's he's um, he's an observer, shall I say? You know, I, I, I've spoken before. He's, he's a person that has been on pitch with us as players. He's been in our changing room, so he knows us as individuals. He knows what makes us tick. He knows how he can get reactions out of us as as being our captain formerly. Um, but now he's the manager. He's the man in charge, but he still has that insight. So even though he's got a bit more authority, he gets to pick the team, he gets to maybe, even though he doesn't take the training, he might want to set a training session up with Liam or with Justin or Shay and, and make sure that we're working on a certain thing. But he likes to observe to make sure that everyone's at it in training, everyone's doing their part, because that's what's going to earn you your place in the team on a Saturday. Has he become more serious now, though? Has he had to distance himself a bit <laughs> from the players? Yeah, he's had to. Uh, it's one of those things, you know, we went from having a laugh with him in the changing room and being in the group chat with the lads sending silly messages and stuff like that. And all of a sudden Wayne leaves the group and now he's your, your gaffer. So it's it's a really interesting dynamic. Obviously, we still have close relationship to him in terms of having a, a general chit chat. But, you know, when it comes to game day, he's the gaffer. He, he, he makes sure that he's, he's a, in a professional role and making sure that we've got the right ideas and, and right guidance to go and win a game rather than having a laugh and a joke.